Hey, what is up guys? This is Dr. Quads, and today we're going to be talking about the differences between Gyroflow and Rocksteady for your O3 Air unit. Now, I am really taken by the O3 Air unit just in my own life right now. I don't have a lot of time to make content as designing and building is taking over more and more of that time. So a drone that's light can fly anywhere. I don't have to you know, carry something big and heavy around with me. I can even just pack it up in a backpack, but it's also gonna be making me an image that's, you know, gonna make me feel good about the content I'm making. It's something just special and that we've never had before. So for once, I'm actually agreeing with my counterparts on YouTube, this O3 Air unit does change everything. But there's a lot of questions about how to make this image come out really nice and great, given if it's compared against a GoPro with Real Steady, and nothing really has compared to that before. But if you wanna stop watching this video right now and just get down to the actual final result and just get my opinion. It is Gyroflow is something truly special and I'm blown away with not only how easy it is, but also how good it is in stabilizing the footage. If you have no time at all and you just wanna pump your content as fast as possible, Rocksteady is pretty good too, but Gyroflow does win in the end. But let's go ahead and break it down uh, scene by scene here. And I did two flights uh, back to back. Here is some uh, real, sorry, Rocksteady. This is a Rocksteady flight and it's pretty smooth, you know, like obviously my drone is uh, very well built, you know, shout out to myself, but it was a little bit windy and I did detect a little bit of wobble as I was flying, especially above the trees. Now, by the way, these are really heavy compressed videos, so your computer may struggle uh, playing these and I have a beast of a computer and even it struggles playing these. So I definitely recommend making some proxies if you're doing some heavy editing or potentially just using like an optimized media. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty smooth. Um, but let's see right here. If I don't know if you can tell right there, you can kind of feel a little bit of wobble, uh, just a little bit as, you know, the drone is kind of correcting itself or maybe even just me on the sticks. And there we go, we're going through. So yeah, it's pretty smooth. This is unstabilized, okay? And you can kind of see too, you can see a little bit of my props right there. That's not a big issue given the fact that I am going to run a stabilization, which will cut off uh, some of it and crop in, so that's fine. I think in a newer version of the drone, I might push the camera just a little bit farther forward. <laughs> Obviously, the further I push it, the more it's going to uh, add weight to the overall frame. But you see there, you're seeing a little bit of wobble right there. Uh, you know, the wind wasn't strong, but there definitely was some wind. Uh, so it's, you know, it's just kind of the PID controlling it. And these are like little micro jitters that uh, are hitting. If you see how smooth the flips are with this drone, because obviously, um, it's very well balanced. But yeah, right here, you're seeing some wobbles as I'm flying faster, as I'm flying through turbulent air, a little windy, and so that's no good. But let's go ahead and turn on the gyro flow. So let's actually just back it up a bit so that you can kind of get a direct representation. So here is the gyro flow footage of that same, I would say maybe, maybe the worst wobble I saw all day. There we go, a nice spin, and look at this. Look at that, guys. You wouldn't even be able to tell that there was any wobble at all. This is just kind of mind blowing. Now let's go to the rock steady. I think I did a similar move. Uh, I was trying to be. Uh, I was trying to get a bunch of different moves in. Uh, let me find when I go up into the sky and I came down. Yeah, here's something. I'm kind of coming up, and here we go. Yeah, you see that? See a little bit of wobble. See a little bit like a little hesitation in the flight. Um, it's it might be right there. You can kind of detect it's not bad and it, it's definitely pretty freaking good given the fact that it's happening in real time. However, it's just, yeah, right there you can kind of feel a little bit so the wobbles kind of coming through. Still smooth, but it's not something that I would be super happy with if it was a, a high paid job. So, I mean, just take a look at this right here. This is just mind blowing. It's like a dolly zoom. I'm just, I'm blown away by how steady this is. Wow, just uh, that's right there. I would be more than happy with that shot. Okay guys, so I've made this timeline 30 frames per second and I've slowed the footage down by half so that we can kind of just see what a really nice cinematic drone flight would look like. Now, this is unstabilized, as you can see, a little bit of wobble there. Not bad, especially given the fact that there was some wind, but still, this is not something I would want to deliver. And there we go. There's Gyroflow, just so smooth. Really incredible how well Gyroflow is doing here. Now, this is pretty high up, and I got a lot of what you could see right here from this one. There's a lot of wind coming in. I'm kind of having to fight the wind just a little bit to find my hole. I'm turning to the side, and I'm still flying forward. 
Uh, you can see some wobbles there. So it's trying to fight, but look at that. Gyro flow just absolutely crushes it. And just a beautiful, beautiful flight forward. Now, once we get into the trees, it gets a little easier, but of course I am gonna be making some micro adjustments to make sure I'm not gonna crash in anything. But yeah, you can just see with gyro flow, it's just incredibly smooth, absolutely beautiful. So how do you actually use Rocksteady and Gyroflow? Well, Rocksteady is pretty easy. You just turn it on in the goggles. Now, there is one little factor in that as I believe it will make the air unit a little bit hotter. So by not using Rocksteady and instead by using Gyroflow, you're actually potentially having an easier or let's say more safe flight with the air unit and keeping it from overheating. If you take a Rocksteady file and drop it into Gyroflow, it will yell at you and say that there's no motion data recorded. Um, but if you take one, uh, a file that doesn't have Rocksteady on. It's just like GoPro. All that information will be in the actual file itself, which makes it really easy because you literally don't have to do anything else. Just drag your file into Gyroflow and then bam, you're done. It's stabilized. You can see here I could turn off stabilization. There we go. Stabilization, stabilization's off. You can turn it back on. Now you can even play with the settings a little bit, which I kind of did for a while, but I just found like this is more than good enough. Like if I'm gonna be doing something really intense, I'll probably just be using a GoPro anyways, but this is fantastic and fast, and then you just press export, and that's it, you're done. And so to me, that is a game changer. Heck, that's even easier than RealSteady. Now, RealSteady does have batch export, which is pretty awesome now, but still, super easy. Drag the file in and press export, and you're done. And just to you know, recap and, and finalize everything, I can say the O3 Air Unit was absolutely just an amazing thing that DJ smashed out of the park with. Um, and a rock steady is pretty good if you're like really making content on a tight budget. But I highly recommend turning off rock steady, saving the heat, saving the processing power in your O3 Air Unit, and then just going home, getting your footage, and slapping them in to Gyroflow, and you're gonna have fantastically stabilized footage that's just, yeah, I mean, like this, this is pretty mind blowing. Really awesome stuff, very smooth flights, but yet still captures a lot of that fast FPV movement in some ways. I like this better now than real steady. And one last little thing, if I can give some recommendations to Gyroflow, it would be batch export. Oh my gosh, that would be a game changer. If I can take all my footage, slap it in there, get the general settings, press export, and it's just, you know, export all those files and I can walk away and come back and they're all done. That would be a huge thing. Uh, Real Steady did that and it was a game changer and I hope Gyroflow does that as well. Guys, this is Dr. Quads. Make sure to like and subscribe. Please uh, consider going over to Patreon and supporting me. Ooh, look at that little, little, because you know, I'm doing a lot of hedge trimming for these uh, parks and it's totally free. They're not paying me. So if you want to fund my hedge trimming endeavors, please just uh, step over to the Patreon and uh, drop a 1S, 2S, or 3S LiPo charge, and uh, I'll be able to keep flying, guys. Anyways, I'll catch you next time, and I hope this helped.